Alright, Asanta Sana. DJ Fish, I'm a Wandalia. Movie Fire Fire, Rainbow TV. Join a Chilia. Mikiki ya movie sana sana za kichina Tai Chi sana sana za kijeshi Taekwondo Masharat IP Kung Fu tazipata Rembo TV Masharat hey. IP hey. Kung Fu wachi kila siku za wiki Alright asanta sana Cheki Marino DJ Bada ya kuwa ndio ni furamo wandaliwa ikiwa inatambulika the missionary man Kwanza tukielewa the missionary humanisha nini Ningependa zaidi wewe mwenye upate kuelewa ni kwamba kila enchi Kila ulimwengu ni kote enchini Hapa kosi wanao tambulika wana porisi Pia vile vile haikosi wanao tambulika wana jeshi Kwa ajili ya kukinga ya nipare boundaries zao Vile bado pia haikosi ya nipale timaya magaidi magaidi na mna hiyo Na vile vile mbali na hayo yote haikosi wanao tambulika ma missionarizia Right Missionary basi hapa ni kukufichuli ya siri kidogo tu ya nipale ma missionary Wailewa wa ingereza wa ingereza Kutoka zaidi kule marekani Wanakuwa kwa mekwisha wazili seimu furani mbako Pengine wanataka kuanzisha mambo ya religia za Vilibile ni pale mambo husiana na religion Au kipenda religio za Mulisoma kule shuleni CRE Christian religio za education Zaidi zaidi hiyo nayo Di wandamana na neno the missionary Bash Leo tunakuja kumpokea the missionary man Akiwa yeye kamili ndio Dalfa Landa Green Bada ya kuwa alikoni mwana jeshi Alikoni mwana jeshi Kwa hivyo zote taka Kati za kijeshi Anazilewa sana kijana wetu Dala Falanda Grina Haya Kule upanda wa nchini Mexico Ndi huyu basi anaziri na kuwa sili wa sili Alikuwa na rafiki mkubwa sana Jina lake alikuwa na ito kwa jina JJ Asente zaidi JJ mwenye ubado alikuwa pamoja kabisa Katika uko hule Ama kwenye kile kikosi ya wanajeshi Ambapo vire vire mwenyewe Dala Falanda Grina Alikuwa ni kama pata na wake JJ Lakini makuza ni kuamba kule Mexico Baada ya kuiti kuamba hali ya security Ilikuwa ga ina utata zaidi Yani ya pa kueko na security ya kutosha Magaidi wakawa ni wengi katika ile hali ya kueza kwa nyanyasa wana inchi Mambo ya kawa tikuamba natokea pale ni ya kigaidi gaidi na mna hiyo JJ ya kawa likusha jitokeza Na ikawa tikuamba ni kujaribu kukinga Wana inchi wa eneo hilo Pasi magaidi walipo irewe tikuamba na jaribu kwa pinga mbinu zao za kutenda ulagairi ya hii Akenani wale magaidi wareweza kumpiga kitanzi na wakamuangamiza JJ Nuna, yani, yani, ati umejitokeza tu, ati u, watu wanakufa, mazi weizi na majamba zi wanaiba mali za watu Wewe ujitokeza ati wende unaelewa O mami unakutua unaangamizwa Alafu unatubwa kule baharini Na watu wanakuja kusema uliangamia kwa sababu ya kuaguka kwa bahari Pengine ulukua ati umeonekana umekunyo pombe ukadai Na unatasa Usi hapa baada kupata ripoti tikuamba mesha aga dunia yule JJ Rafiki mkubwa sana wake Dalf Landgren Landgren ametoka kijiji yao amekuja ruti hii Ilikuwa mbangalau Kushiriki kwenye ile na itua mazishi Chukwane mazishi ilikuwa inafanyo wa siku hiyo Tufanyo nini basi Dalfa mekusha wa sili Kaigia kwenye kilabu furani hapa Na akona biblia Akaitisha tequila Uko Mexico inaitua tequila Diyo changa original Baada ya kuitisa hiyo tequila ambaye ni changa original Akamua ni kuikunywa Na hamefungua biblia kitabu takatifu cha mungu Apo, apo I didn't drink tequila like that and still read the Bible Eee, ulasikia Hata mwenye kirafu wanaurisa sijawai yona mutu kama wewe Ambaye anakunywa tequila Na at the same time anasoma biblia Haya, pale pale
yule nje kuna jamaa ambaye anasafishwa sana anapigwa vile vile ati kwa ajili ya kona pesa ya magaidi kwa pesa yetu dunia hii profilo sasa anapigwa na mia toro haki nani ai 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 bila huruma na mzee yule anapigwa ni kijana anaitwa Billy huaga akili yake si mzuri sana bash dalf alitokea Hakenani Dalf ametokea na amekunywa changaa usisahau na ako na Biblia. Ah, kada unasimamaje hapo? Wewe ni nani na unataka nini? Alikuja tu karibu. Akakuruhusu na mwatoro kwa jinga jinyi. Haya, amuone ni vibaya mnafanya. Naenda wapi? Naenda wapi? Suru wa nyenje. Ala. Jamali kwa kwa mguu akawa down si level. Na wananchi wakafurahi sana wakaona haya kale Yesu. Kwani Yesu anaweza kuja namna hii tu? Unajua Yesu akujage ati ni yeye kamili anaingia kwa mtu fulani. Anakuja. Unaona? Kenya hii sijaona lakini Aishuru. Sasa ndio huyu. Aishuru. Asante sana. Kachukua kofia lake. Akishukuru wenyewe asante sana. Mungu akubariki wameenda wapi ya watu julikani lakini alikuwa anatafuta kaburi wapi makaburini kaonyeshwa makaburini ni ukielekea upande wa huko kiligo teremuka kidogo bas hapo karibu na getefa iko kaburini ha kamrudishia bili kofia yake jamaa wetu waga anatumia pikipiki sana moja kwa moja huyo asafiri hadi getefa huko makaburini Bili naye kuangalia kasiru haya amepotea namna gani kai watu ya Yesu wanapoteaga haishuru Bili bili nilikufahamisha ni kwamba ni pale JJ ni mazishi yake ambayo ilikuwa inaendelea wakati wa morning morning Galau ndio pale yenyewe JJ alikuwa na watoto wawili kijana anaitwa kwa jina Junior na msichana alikuwa anaitwa kwa jina Kate yule Kate wala hakuwa mtoto wake kamili bali kadhalika alikuwa ni kama anko wake huyo Kate na vile vile J alikuwa na mke bibi yake kwa jina Agneti makubwa zaidi Bush wana sherifu pia na wao walikuwa kwenye ile mazishi kadhalika katika hali ya kuweza kupeana heshima kwamba ndio ni jamaa alikuwa mpoa sana jamaa ambaye alikuwa amejitolea kwa ajili ya kusaidia wananchi na ni jamaa wetu ni jamaa wetu sasa tufanye nini kwani asha aga dunia kofia ndio hiyo kofia ya kijeshi ambaye alikuwa ganaye zaidi na ikawa imekushafarishwa kwenye kofia ama kwenye bunduki na ikadungwa kule magaborini haya katika tamaduni zao wanakuwa ya wa tamaduni hiyo walikuwa naimba nyimbo za tamaduni zenyewe ni kama kiturukana namna hiyo bibi yake je ndio kuyu my condolences my condolences asha peana ile tunaitaga risala za rambi rambi hoi nama unajue nyo mahali kunayo kunayo kifo kuna huruma zaidi Kate anatoa machonzi bana akisema hakika bana J alikuwa ni kama baba yake. Bali aliomba asome Biblia. Kitabu cha Samson. Yo Samuel. Sikiza tu. Mtu wa Mungu, the missionary man. Aritoa Biblia. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles, he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with princes and has them inherit the throne of honor. Asante sana Dolph Lundgren. Naona Lundgren bali tu na uchezaji wa filamu mbali na kuwa ati ni mwanajeshi mbali na kuwa ati kwamba yeye ni stari kwenye sinema 
anajua sana mambo ya Mungu. Masi ndio mbali hata na kunywa ile tekila changa original. Yeye hakosi Biblia, anaendaga akihubiria wananchi. Basi kwenye mazishi aliweza kutoa maoni na kusimiti kwamba ndio Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye sisi tunamtawalia ni pale tunamwamini, sisi wenyewe tunamtegemea. Yeye ndio mwenyewe anajua masikini wanakula nini. Ndio yeye mwenyewe anaweza kareize, anaweza kafufua walioaga dunia. Yeye mwenyewe anajua ni nani ambaye anahitaji usaidizi, ni nani hahitaji usaidizi. Kwa hivyo msije mkawa na shaka kwa wale ambao wamekushafiwa, bali kadhalika kila kinachoombwa kwa mchanga kinarudi mchangani. Naona yani maneno mazuri, maneno matamu ya kuweza kuwa kalma, kuwa cool down ile familia ya waliopatikana na maafa. Okay, na alfa kaingia kwa pikipiki na akaondoka. Yusi. Pikipiki vizuri zaidi. Lakini hakutoka ati aende kabisa. Ah ah, ilikuwa inabidi bado wakuje kule nyumbani. Unajua baada ya mazishi, usifikiri huko Amerika ati mazishi ni pap pap inaisha. Eh, eh. Kama hapa tu nchini kisha kuna wale wanakuja home sasa nyumbani kwa kina aliyokufa kupeana risala bado zaidi. So Agnet ndiyo kuyo na mshukuru sana Dalfa kimfamisha nyewe ni mefuraia ulisoma Biblia kule kwenye makaburi You read from the Bible That was very kind of you It was very kind of you Thanks Thanks Uliongea maneno ya kugusa watu sana The family Naona How much This is my father basi alipata kumfanya introduction kwa ke baba yake kuyo Agneti sente sana naituwa Chris vile vile kuna yule junior na pia kuna kite ambaye ni mwanadada zaidi ambaye JJ alikuwa ni anko wake na alikuwa memulea bana kawa ndiyo ya mempatia heshima zaidi J kuwa ni kama baba yake you could say that we are in his unit because I have seen him in pictures wale ambao walikuwa hamjui sana Dalf Landa Green waliweza kumtambua kwa picha ambazo walikuwa wamekushonekana kwa walipigwa na yule JJ wakati ambako walikuwa ni wanajeshi pamoja vita wamekusha bana pambana zaidi kule Vietnam na Afghanistan baada ya kuti kwamba walikuwa wamekusha tumwa na serikali ya kule Marekani na kwa hivyo ni kwamba walikuwa marafiki wakubwa Masi alafu ikuwe mtu ati haku waga dunia kwa kifo ama kwa vita vya ujeshi Akuje kuangamizu wa hapa na magaidi Ay, iyo ni mbaya zaidi Haya, tuwapate kina Rhino Rhino ndiyo huyu Na huyu Rhino, yee ndia najifanyanga itikomba ni fahali show Wa area hii ya hapa Mexico Bash, walipo sikiti kwamba kuna rafiki yake JJ alewasili Ndiyo huyu, ati alikuja kwanza kupatiwa masharti za area hii Timothy yenye umefanya vizuri kukuja. JJ alikuwa na rafiki yetu sana. Sikiza tu sikiza. lakini usidubutwe eti kwamba unafanya uchunguzi ati nini nikimemwangamiza kuyo JJ ni kama utakuwa unapoteza wakati wako. Kwa hivyo kitu ya ungwana ni uweze na akaondoka kabla hajamalizie kuchikilishwa. Eh Mothe tunakuongelea na wakati wa kuweza ku maon mazee tunaomboleza sio wakati wa kupigana vita naona na hawa wanaotenda hiyo kitendo ni kikosi cha kina Rhino walio sababisha kifo cha JJ kwa sababu hawa ndio waga wanarakisha watu hapa aish cheki paka agneti pia ambaye bana pale bwana yake ndiye ameaga dunia bado pia anazini na kuharakishwa sasa sisi tumekuja kukupatia risala ala sarambira ambia lafite na unaona ni aji JJ alikuwa nrafike yangu zaidi na ituwa raino huyo na wakati huo kumikuwa kandiyo na askari ambaye ni walinzi wa eili kijiji lakini makosi ilikuwa ni kwamba walikuwa na wawa sana so ikifikaga wakati wakurikrut maaskari watu wana wakopa awataki kuandikuwa usoja ruti hiyo Juu kiedi kwa soja tu Watu walikuwa na ugopa sana kwa sababu masoja walikuwa na uwawa zaidi Dalifu 
Alexander Green alichukua safari moja kwa moja alikadhalika bado ni kwenye eneo la ile tauni na akaona yenyewe instead apate kutoka ruti hii na ameanza kuona ndio nikana kuomba kuna magaidi ambao wendekao na usika na mambo kuhusu kifo chake JJ Ariona hakuna kokote ambako anaweza kwenda bali ni aje kutafuta maskani kama lodging namna hiyo angalau wabizi kukomboa aweze kuishi kwa muda mchache baadaye akichaelewa ni kitu gani kilisababisha kifo chake JJ ataondoka Asielifika hapa Why can I get you mister? Ah utakula nini? Huyu anaitwa Flora. Flora mwenyewe ndiye atimai vile shaka wanahusika katika hali Since... ya restaurant ruti hii. Land Green alitaka chumba cha kulala. Stay long. How much for you? Okay, well, let's see. It's 50 bucks a day and one day free for our 7 day special rate. Let's call it an even 300. Bus makridadi kabisa apa Flora alipata kumfahamisha Landa Green. Una kama gani Landa Green alikuwa anakaa hapa kitu kama wiki moja namna hiyo. Patiwa ndio patiwa one day free na kuonyesha tu kwamba it is 50 pack. Pade, kwa hivyo yote tukikalculate 350. Sawa sawa basi pale ndipo hivyo. Flora akacheki akaona yeye ni jamaa mmoja ambaye ni mzito mzito namna hiyo. Jamaa mmoja ambaye yenyewe hali ya security inaonekana anaweza kusaidia sana katika zile position. Uh, yeah. Safi sana akamkaribisha kabisa na kumfahamisha yenyewe anything you gonna need tell us. Haya. Na vile vile bado hapo hapo wale wale makariange walikushaanza kupatia yani yule Dal for Land Green macho zaidi ile hatimaye kumfuata fuata kujua anaenda wapi yaje huyu jamaa kwa ni vipi ndio rafiki yake JJ haya cheki maneno tu na msisahau Dal Fland Green ni missionary man mtu wa biblia sana mtu ambaye inasemekana piga mikofi hapa na nikugeusie na wewe unicharase pande ingine si mbaya lakini bado the same biblia pia ikasema tit for tat kula na kulipa mtindo wa kisasa haishuru bado manino folks down at the field say it's pretty harmless i mean reads the bible drinks tequila pretty much keeps to himself sasa ndio anakuja kwa bera hiyo yenyewe si hatujaona mtu kama huyu bwana tumefanya uchunguzi tukakuta hii jamaa alikuwa anakunywa wachangaa juisi juisi hapa juu kwa keravu tu hapa juu alikuja akaitisa tequila ndio akanywa na vile vile bado pia ni msomaji wa biblia na alisoma kifungu furani huko makaburini wakati JJ anazikwa sasa tunasidi huyu jamaa naye ni wapi na juisi juisi pia ameokoa ingine jamaa kwa jina pili na anajua vita na alikuwa mwanajeshi sasa so, the biker with the fucking bible go mes pay attention i want you to put a couple of men on him bash Raino ndio huyu. Raino anasema eti kwamba I want you to keep a couple of people. Grip. Weka ulinzi sana. Chunguza zaidi huyu jamaa. Anakula nini? Analala wapi? Anaenda wapi? Monyita. Na mchungi sana msisomewe Biblia. Ah, jukusoma kwa ke Biblia kwa, <laughs> kwa Dalf Land Green walai lazima unafuata sheria. Naona? Chukua ni nasemaga do to others what you like you to do unto yourself. I should. Mm. It tastes like a peach. Hatevo, hatevo dal flan de green ali chukua ni pale nafasi na kamoti kwamba ni kuoga oga lakini kidogo alishtukia hapa. Hey you from the Jagers. Skiza. Mwana sheriff. That's right. Well, that's real nice. Funeral's on. He's dead and buried. So what are you still doing here? I got my eyes on you. Remember that. 
mwana sherifu pia naye aliweza kusense danger na akajua eti kwamba ndio tushajue eti kwamba wewe ulikuwa na rafiki mkubwa wake JJ na kile ambacho tunakuomba gadhi stay out of this jukwani ni mwana sherifu alikuwa anajua eti kwamba wale magaidi ni wengi na walikuwa ni hatari zaidi na ikiwa kuna yote ambaye angejaribu kuja kufanya uchunguzi zaidi ati kuhusu kifo chake JJ akiwa nani anaweza akauawa sasa mwana sherifu alikuja kumfahamisha nyu pare hapa Dalf wewe stay out of this Sawa sawa kabisa. Na yule kit msichana wetu mdogo. Oi. Wakiwa na kajuni ndio huyu. Na kita anasisitiza sana na simiti kwamba hapana. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo mnasema eti kwamba JJ aliaga dunia akiwa amekwisha kuwa drowned ndani ya maji. Yaani ile kusema ati alianguka kwa maji, akashindwa kuogelea, akakunywa maji, akaaga dunia. Hiyo ndio ripoti imekuaga ikisemekana JJ alikufa kwa ajili ya hiyo. Lakini Kate, Kate anakataa. Anasema mazee haiwezekani. Hakuna vile ambako bwana inawezekana JJ kuaga dunia, ye na ikasemekana ati alipatikana akiwa mrefu. Maiti yake ilikutwa ikiwa alikuwa ati ni murevi. Yaani katika ile hali ya kupimwa namna hiyo. JJ pombe alikuwa hanywi. Na how comes? Na kuogelea wanajua sana mwana jeshi gani anaweza shindi wa kuogelea. I just can't take it anymore. Bekawa. If that happened to him because of what we're trying to do? What about us? JJ was right. I mean the tribal council members might be on the other side. That's crazy. Ah, Junior Pianapo, this is gonna sound crazy. He, yenyewe inaweza ika sound crazy. Manake, akuna vile, lazima hapa ya unikana aliwawa. JJ, akenani, ni lazima aliwawa. Ah, Dalf, ni nani? Safi, sana. Na ilifika ni wakati ambako kulikuwa na mkutano wa wananchi wale wana kijiji ambao wanakaa katika zile area ilikuwa wakuje pale waungane pamoja kama kuna chochote ambacho kilikuwa kimekuwa raised up wapate kuiongea ni kama baraza namna hiyo wana sheriff alikuwepo vile vile pale pia kati ya wale kina Rhino ilikuwa inabidi na wao pia wapate kufika kwenye ule mkutano baraza la kama chief namna hiyo kujua ni yapi ambaye yenyewe wanaweza kuwa wanaendelesha katika kile kijiji ni yapi ambaye pengine walikosea na kuna maoni ambaye ndio wanakumbuka zaidi JJ alikuwa amekusha atoa katika hali ya maendeleo ya kuendelesha kijiji hiki basi wote walikusanyika pamoja ikawa sikiza baraza lenyewe Akinetia likuwepo. Welcome everyone. This tribal council is in session. We are finally ready to decide on two proposals for this council from last month. I wanted to postpone today's meeting because of JJ. We all loved him. He was one of the most respected members of this council. Assistant Chief Lance suggested we still discuss the Gaming 3 proposal. The Tribal Council has carefully studied and weighed the advantages and disadvantages of both proposals. We've had a proposal for the building of a casino on the Tribal property by Lance's construction group. Uski nini hapa mwana sherifu ndiye alikuwa anaongoza rotuba ama hotuba ambaye yenyewe ilikuwa inatolewa kwa ajili ya wale ambao wamekwisha fika pamoja kusikiliza hotuba lenyewe. Hotuba nalo zaidi ilikuwa na kuzia mambo ambaye JJ alikuwa amekwisha abonga akisimi kwamba kile ambacho kinaweza hapa kuangamiza insecurity yani likadhalika ule ugaidi ambao ulikuwa unaendelea sana katika zile area ilikuwa ni kwa kuweza kuifunga casino ambaye ile casino ilikuwa ni yake yule Rhino. Sasa hiyo propose so ndio wamekwisha kuja kuongea kuhusu katika baraza lenyewe huku wakisema inabidi tufuate masharti na vile ambapo yule JJ alikuwa 
kushaona kwamba ilo kasino ndio peke lake lilikuwa laleta insecurity hapa kwenye kijiji letu lakini sasa yule sheriff hakuwa na nguvu sana vile vile kwa sababu magaidi walikuwa ni wengi wengine walikataa hiyo proposal there is too much money on the table for this tribe to lose Waona, wengine wanasema yenyewe hiyo kasino inaleta pesa. My friend, hakuna vile ambako tunaweza kufutilia mbali ile kasino kwa sababu inaleta faida kwenye kijiji hii. Sasa kulikuwa na ile hali ya kuweza kuvuta nivute mambo kama hiyo na ile proposal ilikuwa imetolewaka na JJ. Haya, kuna nini? Raino alikuja kufahamisha kwamba hapa mazetu sipo chunga kasino yetu itafungwa. Na huyu Raino, Raino anakuwaga pia kuna kazini yake ambaye anaitwa Agayo. Agayo anakuwaga bana na kikosi kizima sana cha watu wa pikipiki. Ambao vile vile wanakuwaga walanguzi wakuu wa madawa za kulevia. Alright. Ile mambo ilipata kuongelewa pale na kwa hivyo ikapata yani pale kuchukumu mbele kidogo. Ndio watakuja kugundua kasino litafungwa wakati mgani. Nonsense. For starters, you wear funny-looking reading glasses, and you read the Bible and drink tequila. Eh, what? Flower na kujia kumuriza apa dalf na wewe kwa nini mtu ina gani? Nona? Fight this morning. Yesu alisema akuna kukunywa pombe. Nimbaya. Eh, na wewe una kunywa pombe una soma Biblia. Ah ah. Dalf na sema kusema nimbaya. Alisema kunywa kidogo kwa sababu ya tumbo yako. Laura, dalo ni mujanga wewe. Asante sana. Mari daddy. Basi dalo vlanda green alichukua rodi. Alikadhalika ndio hiyo kuchukua safari na kuondoka. Ambako alicheki cheki upande wa pande, akaona yenyewe ndio kuna ulinzi unaendelea hapo wana security. Safi lakini kidogo bili alitokea. Bili yule jamaa alikuwa amesaidiwa wakati alicharaswa na Miatoro ile hujaona. Ash. Naye alikuwa anajua siri siri kidogo kulotokana na kifo chake JJ. Sasa namfahamisha hapa Dalf e eh, wamode hiyo jamaa akukufa kwa sababu ya kuanguka kwa maji. Hii e, Rhino wanajua we kuja. Ye yeah, kaura. Na unajua pili ni kama chokopai. These guys they are. They drown somebody in the river. They drown somebody in the river. Kwa hivyo hata ni makosa vile mimi naongeaongea na wewe wakiniona wanaweza kunisindikisha kwa ndani ya maji. Na unajua mimi sasa ndio chokopai sijui hata kuogelea. Ash, akapata kufichua siri kwa husu kina Raino. Kwa hivyo Raino ndio wanajua zaidi mambo kuhusu kifo chake JJ. Na wana sheriff wanaogopa sana. We have to do something about him. Agneti baada alikuja hapa kumwambia bwana mwana sheriff, tafadhali fanyeni jambo kwa uso hao wa magaidi. Sikiliza sheriff anasema, JJ's drowning was no accident. Nancy. We all are going to miss JJ. But accusing Reno is not going to bring him back. It's not going to cause more problems for you. Bash. Polisi mwenye wamesema, Ndiyo, sisi wote tulimpenda JJ. Na kumu akiusu huyo ambaye muna sema Reno, hakuta mbuleta JJ awe hai tena. Na wala likathalika hakuna kitu kinaituwaga evidence ambaye naonyesha waziti kwamba kuyo JJ aliwa wana Reno. Now you see, no evidence, no case. Hii na kuwaga obvious. Hata we ukisikuwa na polisi saa hii. Ati ukona bangi. Na hauna bangi. You have the right to say, auja. Government came on top. Yani, Aishuru, unamesha sema auja kamatwa. Kwa sababu hauna evidence. Auta stakiwa. Jukwa ni uta stakiwa na nini? Kosa gani? I couldn't speak my language. If I spoke my language, they would beat me. That's why a lot of people my age can't speak our language anymore because it was beaten out of us. Basi watu walikuwa nakusanyika pamoja zaidi kwenye upanda wa vibanda vibanda kule Mexico kijijini Ashwa zaidi. Na wale ambao walikuwa nakusanyika kwa pamoja Dolph alikuwa anafika ruti hiyo. Nasikia pale kuna jamaa anapea na story story hapa kwa uso eh watu wa zamani. Maona? Zamani ati ulikuwa wewe siongea lugha yako kwa karibu na watu. Juu kiunge lugha yako kama we ni mwukulino Uonge kikulino Sa kutoke mungina hapa aonge ki maragori Walai mutapiga na vita Ani hii ni mzefurani ya nafundisha hapa vijana ruti yo The fruit and the leaves We will pray, we pray to the creator, we pray in four directions 
the four winds coming for directions. Sente sana fundisha watoto kuhusu eagle. Unaona eagle eagle ikiwa kule angani si eti kwamba inakuja tu inaanguka chini bari yoyote ovyo ovyo lazima kwanza inachungulia inachunguza upanda wa down sea level kumekana namna gani Ha wakati huyo nayo Junior Junior wakiwa na ju, Junior wakiwa na Kate diawa wamekuja na Kate mwenyewe sasa alikuwa na nia sana sana ya kutaka kuja kuonana na mzee fulani hapa akisema eti kwamba yaonekana JJ vile ambavyo mnasema alikuwa na kunywa pombe kwa hii kiravu yako. Mbona mzee mwingine tu hapa ndio huyu macho ine. Ate ate JJ before age dunia alikuwa hapa na kunywa pombe. Na JJ hakunywagi pombe. Mbona wewe unajuaga kabisa JJ. How comes mlisema kwamba alikuwa mlevi kwa kilabu yako? Just asking. Kita jaribika hata anafanya uchunguzi wake tu. Got a case of beer. And the sheriff's already asked me about that. They said he was drunk when he drowned. Yeah, heard. They said he was drunk Look. when he drowned. Ashikumbe hapo hapo. Ololo ya ye. Wenza kiraino wakatokea. Reino? Because Reino drinks beer. Hey, was Reino with him that day? Waka hale sema ukweli Alikunyo pombe ama kunyo pombe You wanna pay for that? Ololo ya ye Hapa kujaribu kutoko upanda wa inje Bana tiari juni yalikuwa mearakishu pale inje Na hawa hawa wenye magodo papa Ash kido kidogo Cheki Hey hello miss Kwanza kumuenjoy hapa Kate Kate ni msichana mdogo Ana umuri wa meaka kuminatano Hey, very cute. I just can't go. I asked you a question, little lady. Anything interesting? Yeah, because of your kindergarten education. That wasn't very nice. Let me tell your mother something for me. She needs to drop that idiotic game of poker cards. Hey, that's none of your business. Watch out, Anna! The junior. Where we watch out? How old are you, sweetheart? Fifteen. How old are you, sweetheart? Bana wana rakisha watoto wadogo bana. E ukona miaka ngapi? Fifteen. Kwa hivu meba kisha tatu i Shimbaya. Three. Shimbaya. Zaza. Nigo coffee. Ina mesa na nika kufuge uba kise i otatu alavu utako wa my wife. Yuhu kitoku kutaka kumitendea vibaya Kwa jamali jitokeza kaza mapana uwa Chana na eni mtoto mdogo Unawana ni moja kati ya magaidi Lakini ya kateta kaza mapana uwa Sakebewe Kutara kisaje mtoto kama mtoto wako Nini Waniwe unatetea nani Kustukia Mutu mozima akakuja Mutu wa biblia amekamu Where are they? The bible man has come the B-I-B-L-E is the good book for me I stand alone Alikuja kiba yu On this town and the sheriff in King Ash Wewe ni nani? Akachuku wa kepaka Akenani kifuniko Kwa seyo Kine wambia Kwa arakisha watoto wadogo ni mbaya Hala? Na kuna watu wanacheki kwa dirisa haki ya lani walaula wa kwa sinema Jude help me Wewe wacha kuhupika uyo Hame ni yoko wa Ate, ame ni okoa? Oh. We ni mmoja kati ya magaidi na unasaidia watu. Si hata wana soma bibiria na unachapa watu. Oh, kwa hivyo tumeperekana eh. Fifty fifty. Na wana tatu. Ha ha. Okay. Dal Fulanda Greeny. Jama wetu huyu stare ngonye sinima. Ash, wase waritoka. Waka izia. Ash, halo. Pana jali, nikiwa na njini ni sawa. Sasa bebe, fukata sisi nyuma na yu piki piki yako, sisi tuanda mani pamoja hadi nyumbani. Nona, dal fulanda grina. Why don't you have some dinner? Mom's a really good cook. Masi hii karibishwa kwenye upanda wa maskeni ilikuwa mba angala uwa pate dina ni chakula chajioni. Ilikuwa mba tapata kushika safari muendo tena kulikia kwenye maklabu mba liku mbua lodging la kulala. Badu akiwa meona inyue uku siku baya unless apate kuhishi na hawa ndia pate kuwasaidia yaani. Manake ni missionary mana. 
Lakini walipokuwa katika hali ya mazungumzo zaidi kwenye meza la kula chakula cha jioni Kazi sana hapa yani wewe Dalfi. Kazi yako sasa wewe unaanza kuendesha pikipiki zako area hapa ukisaidia watu? Ndio. You know you remind me so much of JJ. No no unanikumbusha sana mambo kuhusu JJ. Maana JJ alikuwa kama wewe tu. Hata mimi nikikuwa mkubwa nitakuwa kama dad. Na ninaanza leo. Sasa Juni anasema anaanza leo. Wewe uko na Kuna 17 years. Utaanza je vita? Baba yake Agnet naitwa Nancy Agnet ambaye zaidi ni Wido mke wake marehemu baba yake ndiye huyo sasa kutoa tu ile mauni tu kwa famishi yenyewe sasa hii ni ulimwengu wa kuweza kuishi kwa hali ya wasi wasi Kate chukua Dalflanda Green mtembe tembe kule nje angalau wapate fresh air. Hii ni mbinu ya kuweza kumkaribisha kwa familia letu. Manaki sasa ametulinda huyo. Haya wakatoka nje. Hii Kate amemfurahia sana Dalflanda Green. Kumfurahia sana. Akianza kumuuliza wewe kuna unakuwa na family? Ah kasema hana. Kwa nini? Sijaoa. Kai. Na unakuwa na marafiki? Si ndio kama nani? Ah, moja wao ni pikipiki yangu. Anapenda pikipiki yake sana. Bash. Sasa na uko na girlfriend? Ah, hiyo alikataa. Okay. Kate anasema I wish I was 18 and over. I could have things have applied for application to be your girlfriend. A few years to figure it all out. But sometimes the answer is closer than you think. Oh. I never knew my father. You know? JJ always took care of me like father I never had. Unaona sasa akimfamisha kwa ile wa maneno I never knew my father. Sikuwahi kujua baba yangu. Maana ke baba yake aliaga dunia akiwa ki mtoto mdogo zaidi. Lakini huko anasema it kwamba ndio JJ alimchukua like more than a father. Yaani zaidi hata ya kuwa kama baba. Okay, story tu ambako Kate anamfamisha Dalf Landa Green. You should better left the room and not understand. Sisi should say. You just beat up and you want Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Dalf, you to watch ya for you. I should. What kule kwa mbali? You see many things in this life too. Yeah, he likes you. Will you go say goodnight to him? Yeah, all right. Sawa sawa Dalf na yenyewe hakuja kwa sababu ya kutaka kutafuta urafiki na mwana dada yeyote. Bash hiyo alitupilia mbali. Moja kwa moja basi tunaelekea hadi kule katika mtoni fulani. Yaani kuna mto area hii. Na hiyo mto kulikuwa na biashara ambazo za wale magaidi walikuwa sha organize ikiwa ni kikosi yake Rhino. Ati kwamba kina Rhino walikuwa nakuja kununua madawa za kulevia kutoka kwa majamaa ambao wanatoa madawa kwingineko. Zaidi kutoka upande wa kule New York wanazileta hapa Mexico. Bas kwanza ilikuwa na bidi wanakaa standby kwa hali ya ku kuweka bunduki standby safi sana. Kija ku. Gari katokea kule kwa mbali vizuri zaidi. Unaona sasa waliokuwa kwenye upande wa mashua pare vile vile zaidi wakiwa ni kama kikosi chake Rhino. Wanaokuja kuuza madawa za kulevia wakawa ni wateja tu kama vile vile ama wauzaji kama kawaida. Kumbe Rhino asha organize wenzake ati kwamba yes, watumie kitu tunaitaka nguvu za kimabavu. 
kwa kuwanyang'anya hawa madawa za kulevia na waishie bado na pesa. Cheki maneno. Biashara zinafanyika hapa hapa. Bash. Ndio ndio hiyo. Alafu kule kwa mbali. Cheki. Let's go, let's go. Wakachukua zile madawa za kulevia. Kisha. Mari Sasi. Duke. Duke ndiye alikuwa anakuja kuuza madawa za kulevia. Mr. Duke. Akidoro kuna mtu alikuwa kule mstuni, amewaona vile walikuwa na uziana madawa, na hali kadhalika, kikosi yake Rhino wakapepeta marisasi kina Duke. Na huyo jamaa kaepa. Si mwingine ni yule chokopai wetu ambaye anaitwa Gabiri. Bili anajua kasiri za magaidi. Ash kidogo akafuatwa. Oi Bili. Bili haraka sana. Bili hata kama ni chokopai kujificha anajua sana. Ju zamani hakuendaga sure alikuwa anajua hii kazi inaitwa Gabiri Cho. Kuna kazi inaitwa Gabiri ndio huyo. Amejificha. Gabiri Cho alikuwa anajua sana. Hai jamaa bwana tumoni. Hawa ni wizake Rhino. Lakini kumbe amesahau mekelesi yake hapo. Hello guys, you get back here and get on board. Rudi hapa. Ashi warudi. Lakini wame wame bara washike wakashika necklace. Necklace ndio alipata. Kumbora basi wakatupa kwenye lili mashua wakailipua ndit kwamba hata tracing ikifanywa wana polisi ya watatambua ni nini kinaendelea. Ao wenza kiraino wakaburuka. Bash. Wauna sasa na unajua yenyewe ni mishuni ambayo waga inaandaliwa kati ya Rhino pamoja na cousin wake ambaye anaitwa Agayo atikumba baada ya yeye kuwa amekusha nunua madawa za kulevia anamletea Agayo Agayo akiwa na wenzake ambao ni watu wanatumia pikipiki zaidi wanakwenda kuziuza kule matauni inakuwa sasa ni business ya ma relative Rhino cousin wake ni Agayo Agayo ambaye bro bado haujamuona lakini punde si punde atakuja ni kuwashili. Oh yeah, baby. Mosh. I want you to take some guys and find that runaway piece of shit and I want him dead. Understand? Bash. Hiyo ni ripoti zimefika kwa Rhino ati kwamba kuna jamaa ambaye tumeona alituona tukiuza ama pale tukinyang'anyana madawa. Afuatwe mara moja na mimi nataka kusikia akiwa ameaga dunia abai ni bili sasa ati bili afuatwe na akikamatwa aage dunia wash hiyo ni ripoti kutoka kwa Keraino basi hata hivyo moja kwa moja tunarudi kwenye ile klabu klabu ambalo zaidi liko lake yule Flaura Laura vile vile kumbuka anampenda sana kijana mwetu Dal Flanda Green. Na alikuwa kosi hapa kwenye maklabu time ikifika jukwani huko ndiye anaishi, huko ndiye anapolea. Afika asubuhi anaenda ni kama wax, kama job kawaida, kumbe ni job ya kupiga raundi akiokoa wananchi. Ash, anakunywa wachangaa ndio hiyo. Kaya. Mazii na chomaga tumbo wewe. Unazidua. Na anasoma Biblia sasa hii ataanza kusomea watu hapa. Uh, kuna watu wanamwangalia yeye akiwaangalia wanaangalia chini. Sawa sawa. Rhino 
Ah bado pia vile vile nilifahamisha kwamba ndede huyu anakuwa na klabu chake yani pale anakuwa na casino. Mazee casino kubwa zaidi ambao watu wanafanya gambling. Na hiyo gambling ndio wakati mwingi inakujaga inaangamiza kijiji ama watu ambao wamependa familia zao. Hii inavunja kabisa na bado pia kuongeza ulagai na ugaidi. Ndio nakutaka kaisagi fulani akina watu fulani unakuta pengine mbuyu bwana ama mzee wa nyumba hiyo anachukua hata mahindi ama chakula anaenda anauza alafu anatumia pesa kuja kucheza kamari kwenye kasino ana vitu kama hivi ndivyo vina mariza familia na kuharibu mji Ash, pale pale kwenye klabu eh hey, flora alikuja kwanza kuharakishwa hapa Lady, you are so cute and very dangerous. Ash, Dalva kaona hii ni upush. Eh. Hey. Baba zee, na wakamzingira. <laughs> Kaalike mole dali. Ni nini mnahitaji? Mangumi. Ni mangumi unagawa. Unapenda kugawa sana mangumi. Si baya ukiombwa ngumi peana ngumi. Usinyimane ngumi. The boys up north on a silver platter, they're going to be pissed off. And no matter what happens, they're going to want their money. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Corner yeah. pocket. Yeah, I thought we had the council with us on that thing. That casino deal should have been ours. Well, then why does JJ's family control the project? Did you or did you not tell me if I got JJ out of the way, the tribal council would be forced to give us the project? Isn't that what you told me? Yes, yeah, that's what I said, all right? I hear what you're saying. Just... Let me see what I can do. Wait for that. You see now I got to wipe out the whole fucking family just to make my point. That's why no sasa wakiwa wanaendelea kuongea hapa na mwenzake ni mambo kuhusu Timai ile ufungizi wa ile kasino ambapo alisikia kwenye ile Trouble Council baada ya kuchi kwamba kulikuwa na baraza ambayo ilikuwa imekushandaliwa kwa ajili ya kuzungumzia ile kasino, bana alisema kwamba kitendo kama hicho isiwahi kuja kutokea. Ah, hiyo ni mazungumzo ya makuruko tu. Perfect time. Safi sana Dalfa alikuja kaungana sasa. Na wale ambao waga wamejitokeza kwa sababu ya kusaidia watoto watoto na wana kijiji ambao wamejitokeza. Dalfa alikaribishwa asome Biblia. So what you say a very funny hello to our family friend. Hi. Hello. Watoto wa hiyo kijiji wale mkaribisha. Haya katoa Biblia. Unajua nini? The Bible. Si lazima. To see the words. Lazima nivae macho ine ndo nisome Biblia. Show me ways O Lord. Skiza. Teach me your paths. Remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. Good and upright is the Lord. Asante sana. Upright is the Lord. Show me the way that I will never forget. Nionyeshe njia ambaye siwezi kusahau. Na msimamo uaga ni njia la Mwenyezi Mungu. Kuna njia mbili watoto. Kuna njia nyebamba, kuna njia mnono. Sasa wewe unahitajika uchague njia ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu. Kidogo ripoti zilikuja. Ate bili amepatikana akiwa amevunjwa vilivyo. Bili ndio huyu. Tangu ile siku alikuwa ameona wakiuziana madawa za kulevia na akafuatwa akahepa leo ndiye amepatikana eh mode huri tu utakuwa gafata wazi nimegonga nichwa asia periku kule maskini you like to be alive fanyo huduma la kwanza na akapeana history kwa aliwaona kikosi cha Rhino waki wakiangamiza waliokuwa anakuja kuuzia madawa za kulevya na wakahepa na madawa zenyewe na alikuwa juu ya ati aliagusa necklace. Zewa kijiji. Bath is drug deal going on down. Down by the river. Stop and I can make a score, you know. But I didn't know Reno was going to be there. I sure shit didn't know he was going to be killing everybody. Shit. We knew those guys that were chasing me through the woods, man. I was my necklace. Necklace? Where is my necklace? Fuck! I can't get it. Hey! You know what? The necklace. 
Sasa wewe unajisumbua ni kama umewacha pesa. Necklace jambo lolote. Akijitai huyo. Oh. Lakini bana stay there. No matter what happens, stay there. Kwa sababu kule nje kumeonekana kuna wengine wameingia. Nikasemekana stay there no matter what happens. Msisonge, dalfa kakanyaga nje. Bash. Cheki. Ati dio ma cowboy. Ayai, wanapenda kuja kuharakiza hii kijiji sana. Na walimwambiaga vizuri sana Dalflanda Green, e, tulikwambia uishie, utoke kwa hii kijiji. Hapa si kwenu. Chifu wa hapa si wa chifu wa kwenu. Tafadhali, enda kwenu. Ati da, ati dio Dalf hajaenda, ati amekuja kuharakishwa sasa. Kupewa last warning. Nakae wase. Dalf alisema vizuri sana, mimi usoma Biblia na mimi tena ninavunja watu manioro. So would you like me to wound you the manual? Skiliza, skiliza. You can do, mister. You know that. No, it's not a problem. And we can deal with it ourselves. The old-fashioned way. Well, I'm sorry. Can't help you, boys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Looks like we can't help you, but problem here now, don't we? Thank you. Now, Kaita, how have you done? There's the kids that told us where the bleeding Indian was by the old campground. You should have seen their little ones shitting themselves. <laughs> <laughs> when I got a job to do, nobody better stand in my way. So you better back the fuck off. And move on. Or else. So what you gonna do now, preacher man? Well, I'm gonna ask you and beg the good Lord's forgiveness. But not before I take this knee and break that nose. Bosh. Eh, was it the way you had to break my nose? Avunje manioro. Mwabe umeambio vizuri tabunje manioro. Akusikia. Mwabe. Mwabe. Bash. Kidoko. Mwashalala. Mwabuki. Saa gapi na nimekonyesa kubwa. Saa gapi. Nimekwambia takuvunja manioro. Dio yu imevunjika. Oh. Well, that's one way of using it. Hey, what's up? Okay, we get to a point. We get to a point. Sorry, pick up. Sorry, gonna pick up the ball. What a pun I was in. Oh, lo lo ya ye. Eh, dalo pa dara kisa na kambi o da kamusho to eni mauruaro. Wait a minute, drop them. Drop your pants. Drop your pants. Weka mauruaro chini. Wamoja to eni mauruaro. Wakatoa. Again, I'm going to get out of here. I love to get me up. I'm going to end up with you. I'm going to get out of here. Who's going to move to our room? Chicky, chicky. I'm going to get out of here. 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 Noma, sasa hapo ndio ilikuja ikaonekana hapana. Hii vile ambayo umeambia watu watoe uruaru na wakatoa uruaru tunaomba tafadhali tuame. Baba yake Nancy Agneti aliweza kuona hapana iwezekane. Kuna mahali ambako anajuti kwamba wanaweza kwenda wapumzike ama hatimaye waende kuwa kama ni hali kadhalika ya ulinzi namna hiyo yeye pamoja na kuyu Kate na yule Junior. Yes, you can no matter what. Eight, sasa wakiwa wanajiandaa kuingi kwenye pande wa mashuli kwamba upate kusafiri vile vile naye Dalf Landgren akamwa it kwamba tabaki na yule Agnet ili kwamba upate kusafiri kwenda kumuona yule sheriff kumfahamisha jinsi mambo yamekwisha tokea na ndiposa wameamua ti kwamba baba yake Agnet pamoja na kina Kate wapate kuelekea mahali ambako wanaweza wakaishi na ni mbinu za kutoroka wasikutu na wale wa magaidi
Ashalala. We'll help you out, but after you go to the doctor, you have to testify against me. Otherwise, you can go out there right now. Sawa sasa basi wewe bili lazima tutandamana pia na wewe. Bili wakiwa pamoja na kuyo Agnet vile vile Dalf Landa Green. Wataandamana hadi kwenye kituo chake yule sheriff na ili kwamba bili aende ku testify yani atoe ushahidi kwamba aliwaona kina Raino wakiuziana madawa za kulevia na bado pia vile vile wenzake Raino wakiangamiza wale waliokuwa na langua madawa zenyewe haya walishika safari moja kwa moja kuelekea hadi kwa sheriff waende kupeana ripoti yenyewe sasa jubili bili ni mshahidi na amekubali kujitolea kuwa akuwe mshahidi. Safi sana walikuja kumtafuta sheriff. I already remember pale yule Chris mzee wetu pamoja na Kate vile vile mtoto wetu Junior wamesafiri kwenda mjificho. Right basi position ndio hiyo. Kulikuwa na kitendo ambacho kilitendeka ruti hii baada magaidi kwa uwa bana wa dhee frani ruti hiyo. Sheriff alikuwepo hapo na vile vile Agnete alitokea na kumfamisha yenyewe sheriff. Exactly. Tuko na mshahidi hapa. Yes, Billy so Raino commit murder. Askidiki dogo Raino akatokea. Raino akakuja. Aliwafuata life life mpaka ruti hii. Bash. Sikiza, anakuja kuongea nini? Ndiyo yo Raino. Hey folks. Well, have a little power out here. Hello, what should know not the legal feather. Bili yako kule ndani. You got a van full of sick kids, sir? What do you want, Reno? Well, since you asked so kindly, a couple of my men are thinking about filing assault charges against this one here for beating the shit out of them. I'm thinking about filing vandalism charges for damage done to my vehicle up on the Adobe Flats. Hell, I've already talked to a judge. Self-defense. That's the Lord is my witness. Pass! Raino anadai tiku amba hapa amekuja kustaki Dolph Landegreen. Ame charasa wenzake mbaka kawambia watoe mauruwaru. Wanae safiri aje town wakiwa bila uruwaru. How comes? Sasa amekuja tiku mustaki kwa sheriff. Na Dolph akasimi tiku amba alikuwa nafanyi kitu inaitu waga self-defense. Raino wakamualika hapa Dolph Landegreen. Ebu tuingie kwenye makelabu langu tuongee na wewe mambo mawili matatu. Uende tunayesaelewana. Basi wakaingia kwa kerafu. Ndio hii. Ile casino. Hmm. Raino anakuja kumfamisha nini Dalva? Tikio la Australia. No line no so. Aya, kapatiwe ile kitu wanakunywanga akasema anakunywa takila. Takila. No periods. I don't give a fuck who you are or where you came from. I damn sure don't give a fuck why you're here. Right now? Well, I see it. We got three options. First is I can just kill you now. Skis up. With it. The second, you can walk out of this bar alive, get on your iron horse, and ride out of town. Oh. Never look back. And when you're gone, you stay gone. Oh. Third option, and for my money, the most interesting is you could come to work for me. Raino wanasema kama ni nakupatia hapa uchaguzi mara tatu. Ya kwanza ni aidha ni kucharasi risasi sahihi ukufe pa. Option ya pili ni uhame kijiji hii mara moja. Option ya tatu ni aidha ukubali ni kuandike kazi kwa mtu wangu. <laughs> Alafu Dalva kajibu. Ongeza mimi. Your reputation is bad as yours. Kaongeza changa. Second. I don't like people who take advantage of others for power and money. Oh. And third. I don't like you, Reno. I don't like you, Reno. As ataya meto ma option. Si pendi watu ba wa na tumia mali za watu ingine kujitajiri sana yao. Asante sana kwa kinywaji. Wait for me. Hey, usitoke apa namna yao. Daripo kufuatwa. Ewe, upusi weka kando. No! Wana! Kando. Kishana! 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 Kufuja matakila. Machanga. Ayo! Kerafu! 
Sheriff, but in Jima, Kawa Metokia. Sheriff, what do you think you're doing? Put your gun down, or I'll put you down. Eh? Buduki chili, ama mimi ni kuweke chili. Eh, baka wuna tena sheriff on as a more serious. Juye ni mwenye miseria. Aishuru, akaidua mikolo juu. Indian boy to scout. Eh, ita mame haribu kerabu yangu. Sauri yenu na kerabu yenu. Mwade, tuende. Bombe yetu imepiko risasi Na kakunyu wana akasema asante kwa kinyuanji Mafi Not interrupting you am I? You make my call for me? Yeah, yeah I did boss uh, They'll be here tonight Good, good, that's grand It's about fucking time too should have done this a long time ago. Sugar Plum, honey, mm. you don't mind if we talk a little business, do you? All right. Bara bara kebisha. Hiyo ilikuwa ni baada ya Dal Flanda Greena ama kwa kweli kwenye lile kilabu chake yule Raino kuwa amekusha tenda majabu e baada ya kuiti kwamba alimu alialikuwa ye mwenyewe na akasema tekuamba gade sitaki ni kuone tena Bash! Landa Green akawa meishia Sasa ndi wakati ambako kile kikosi chake agayo Amba remember agayo mwenyewe ni kazi ni wake Raino Ndi wakati wamekusha wasili bana kutoka majuu Walikukua mekusha lekea kuhuza madawa za kulevia Wa! Na alipata ripoti huyu agayo Ati kwamba Raino aliwangamiza kina Duke Wakati ambako kina Duke walileta madawa za kulevia Kitendo ambacho He mwenyewe huyu agayo Hakuwa na furaia Ashalala Wana wamekusha wasili kule tauni Mexico Area na watu wa area hii Wana waugopa sana kina agayo Asi walifunguru wa gate maramuji likuwa mba kupenya kwenye apartment zake yule Raino Wauna nini? Ayy Okay now, thanks for coming partner, na muita partner The crew does look good Sasa ye, ndi alikuja kusidu wa wase ndi liwacha mukiwa sawa sawa Mbona maniuru zimevunjika vujika ovi 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 Kwa kina mapua hakuna Kwa ni kwa ni ni nini Haka ayo hauna apari kuna mutu wa biblia ako area You know, who is who? Who is the biblia manu? Nani huyo? Wele, tuigie kwa hao tukupea ustori na maandishi Tutakupea ohoro na maandeko Asha Mze wa maniuru di uyu Na raino Safi sana Watu wa pikipiki ndi awa Wezake agayo Watu wana upenda raha sana Zaidi utumiaji wa madawa za kulevia Na vitindi na mna hiyo Majamba zi hawa Waringia kwenye lile kashino Raha raha mstarehe Rakini sasa agayo walingia kwenye chumba cha Private Huko kando liku mba pate kongena kuyo raino Kitendo ambacho kiyo kumfuraisha agayo Kabisa ni baada kupata reported kwa mba Wale wa uzaji wa madawa za kulevia Wali wawa kena duke Na njimu katoka na pesa yao Pamoja na madawa za kulevia Na mukasema kuna mutu wali waona Na unajua enyewe kitu ambacho kina ugupo zaidi na magaidi Ni ushahidi Ati kuna mutu aliona mukiuzia na madawa za kulevia Bash, kenyewe agayo, haku furaia Na yeye akawa ndi kama mkubwa wake kuyo Raino And these Mexicans don't fuck around You took their money, you took their drugs, you probably killed some of these fucking cousin What are you thinking? What are you thinking cousin? You still got the money and the drugs? Yeah, sure So what we're gonna do? 
apparently an Indian kid. Put the money in the drugs on him, make sure the sheriff finds him that way. Dead with all the shit on him. Uh, damn good idea. You think so, Reno? Yep. I don't know, because you still seem nervous. Is there something you're not telling me? strange-looking bike. So it's beating up my men, shooting up my bar, causing me all kinds of trouble every day of the week. Bash! Eh, kazi ni ii, atha tuwachana na yu maneno ambayo unasema ati yu, sijui madawa tukanyanganyana. Kwa mingine jamaa ambaye ni mutu wa pikipiki, awe kujaga ruti hii. Jamaa ambaye anaingia kwa kirafu wanakunyo changa, anakunyo tindi. Bahadaya anasoma bibiri anasema si mbaya na tumbo. Na bahadaya anavunja watu manioro. Anaitu Odal Folanda Green. This time ile sida tukonayo hapa ni yeyo jamaa Hameingia kwa kerafu juushi Hamevunja kerafu yangu ile ujaona Mata Pombe Hasara ni meenda Juu ya hii jamaa Na hii jamaa Siti kwamba ni mutu Ati ni wengi ni mumoja Sasa agayo anaulisa hata nyinyi kamwena ango How comes one person Mutu moja Ashaburie nyinyi Muta onyesha mimi yu mutu I will teach that person a lesson. Agayo i wewe jipepe terori. Drug deal. Juu ila siku ya jamaa tafika hapa. Dead. You got a murder witness running around free that should be dead. And to top it all off, we still have a fucking... No, no, kitu wako ifanyi kasi mothe. Mitu kama uyo ngikuka mekusha kufa. Manake anatuzuhia kufanya kazi yetu hapa kwa kejiji. Hey, we uga tu. Ila siku mutakutana mutambia hivyo. Place here, Reno. Raino amepewa musomo Pewa musomo Ashira inaindelea Haya waze tuondoke sasa Wachukua ni sasa waede matauni Raino wakatema njini ya mujuhu ya jamaa Lakini ya churu mutakutana na ee Yuhuri kutana na ee tu Asi wakachukua piki piki zao Wakachukua rodi Razimu wakuji kutafutana na Dalf Dalf, kuna wiki sasa wamekamu. Na chakushangasa ni watu wapikipiki kama wewe tu. Na wanatumiega bunduki kama wewe tu. Haa! Saa walianza kuwisabu marishasi. Kiwekaga kwenye bunduki lake. Kiwa kule kwenye upande wa mauteli hoteli na mna iyo. Kineti na kumbuka likuwa shamfuata sana. Kumfamisha... Enyemi usha panga kwamba utatuwacha uishie But please don't leave us You remind me of their father Every day I see their faces Naona Kila wakati ni naona Usho za watoto hao wangu Mimi Nina kuona ni wewe Nina pukuona ni wewe Nina kumbuka sana JJ ambaye ni buwana ake kuyo Work Maybe something good will come out of what I have to do here. Okay, panajali. Remember. Kitu kizuri kita kuja kutendeka badai pingini. Tuki wa manda na kumarizana na hawa makachero. Enyewe, hapa bila kutumia bunduki ambayi na ituwaga musema kweli. Uwezi kukamirisha ugaidi. Please don't go. Arunyeshwa na yule agneti hapa naenda. Sawa sawa Dalf ni nani ni kwa kweli Meona anafanya kitendo kizuri cha kupatia Yani protection family lake JJ Ash ilikuwa kuna haja ya kuenda Safi zaidi Akabaki Usi Bili nae Bili nilikuambia kili yake ni kama ifanya nkazi vizuri Sasa Amekuja kaona mapikipiki za magaidi hapa Haya ya 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 kasema ya ya ni meona pajero Haya ya 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 kapanda moja Alavo kajivanya anendeza Brum Hei Chukopae, makuruku wakatokea Haia Wee, jangau Jangau gani Atisasa kukua highway Nobody else could be stupid enough to sit on my bike Yeah, bro Who the fuck are you? Na wee, ni nani? Wase, eh Kujeni muwana zanama 
aliita majamaa wakatokea hapa. Ah lakini walipocheki wakaona huu ni chokora chokora tu huyu. Yeah, there's a funny story that goes with that. My mother and father, they were really bad drunks. And the last thing she gave me before she died giving birth to me was this fucked up name. A long story short, she's at the hospital on a table, legs up in the stirrups, and I come popping out. The nurse turns to her and says, what do you want to name her? Uh, she meant to say Jeff. But she was just so drunk and beaten, you know, the old man busted her jaw. And it came out Joff. And then she died a few minutes later. So I guess you could say I came in this world a little fucked up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't want you to have this right here. I don't do drugs, really. They're bad for you. Ay, 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 ay. Magaibi sasa hawa walimjua sana kuyo bili Wakaelewa hui ndo yule mdozi yalikuwa na semi tikomba lichunguza zaidi na akawa ni kama witness Kaba angeweza kuja kutuo shahidi mbele ya koti Ati aliwaona kina raino wakiuzia na madawa za kulivia Ash, mtu kama huyu Makari yange wale sema hakuna kumuacha akiwa hivyo hivyo Ululu ya ye Hili alitendewa Mexican fucks never learn This is a white man's world Bili masikini wa mungu Bili alipepetu kwa risasi Kai Tuduki kaweko mkono ni mwake Na ati kafietuliwa marisasi zingine mbili Pash Ikuja kusemakana hindi alijiuwa Haya fulaura na ya kakutuwa hapa Uja hapa Iko hii jamaa Tunasikia ni jamaa ya bibiria Iko wapi Wapi the missionary mana Hakaanza kuwarakishwa Wenzake hagayo Hawa ndia wajajua gadalofu ni nani Ululu ya ye Hey, what's going on? Fire! Ah, shalala. Check it. Has he got a key show on to up? Sasa kuna masuja wametokea. Wamesikia kuna hata rikubo kwa maska ni frani huku. Sasa wanaingia wakujo kusaidia kama masuja. Yalikuambia watu wanaokupaka sana kuandikuwa askari ruti hii. Juhu wana uwa wangu wa ovyo ovyo. Sasa wawili wameingia. Eee. Cheki. Hey, 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 hey. Hivyo, hivyo. Apana subutu. Hivyo sema mkola juu. Alamu kustukia. Wegine wakatukia. Magaidi. Kai. Kustukia. Wegine tena. Haya. Kustukia. Wegine tena. Kustukia. Wengine. Kustukia. Wengine. Wewe nyuma. Haya, ya, 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 ya. Mazi awa vile walitendewa. Kia nani vile walitendewa hawa Atawewe utawawonea uruma tu I'm sorry, did you say something? I'm sorry, did you say something? Kai Kai Mazi Masikini Tabu Wezake agayo sasa di wanaongosa hii area Ati ndiyo mafari show bin majangiri Siku za muisi ni arubaini na moja Siku ya jangiri ni arubaini Pash Watakipata chao tu Hame si dal fulanda grini Lipofika wakati wa morning Divo hivo sasa kama waga aga ni pale ni guaheri yule agneti Dea kapata kuondoka Lakini siye tikuwa mba ni kuhishia Aa Hajaeda bali Pado ni kukuja kutafutana Makinigo wameweka urinzi virivyo Na wanakunyo rumulika Wakimongoja dal fulanda green Ebu heze ebu gido wanapima ati kwa ewa Ati vile watachapa hiyo jamari sasi Eee Sawa sawa tu Amna bari Dal fulanda wasili wasili Landa Grina mwana missionary man Muleta amani upendo na umoja Kwa encha la kutumia bunduki na risasi 
Chris alikuwa anaendelea maombi yake. Kaiwa. Hai Kaila unaenda wapi? No, I'm gonna help them. I'm going to help them. Ah, tiata yanaamua aelekee tauni. Lazima akuje kusaidia akina Agnet. Uko kijuti kwamba yenyewe pengine huaga wako katika hali ya hatari na huenda akaweza kusaidia kidogo. Kushaele weka kwamba tauni yote magaidi kikosi yake ya gayo wamejaja na washamwangamiza bili sasa wanamtafuta Dolph Lundgren. Haya kwa mbali kuna wengine wameona nani? Wamemwona Dolph akiwa kwenye pikipiki anawasili kwenye hiyo area. Walipanda gari haraka sana waepeleke ripoti. Ash kumbe naye sheriff alikuwa naye na pick up yake hapa standby. Akakuja kumfamisha Dolph e, mambo imeharibika. Magaidi wameongezeka huku. Sioni kama utatoboa modheni afadhali wachane na wao wewe enda home You are not going in here there Dolph alimfamisha sheriff e, afadhali mwili yangu izikwe hapa kwa hii kijiji Kweli e, Sawa basi na mimi labda tushirikiane na wewe Nami basi tutaandamana na wewe Sheriff amekubali waandamane na Dolph Landa Green ikiwa umejitolea wazi ni kwa ajili ya kuweza kusaidia wananchi wa hapa Mexico basi tutaandamana ili kwamba wakuje kusaidia kwa kuangamiza hawa magaidi Si sasa ripoti ndio inakuja kuja kwa Makuruku ati wamesaona Dalf Chiki mwenye meleta ripoti Hamechoka <coughs> Bila hamekimbia He's coming He's coming Niko kao kete wu inga yana kuja Eee Kwe agayo wakachikia amekamu Si watu wakafikiri ni mutu wakawida tuwa wakise fegi waendele Haya Tumuone vizuri Mzee wa macho ine ii kwa mbali wakamuona Haya Ni ule ama ni nani Juwa umujua kishura Edi uyu Haya Na kaisia mdogo mdogo Ete metere ili fuata hei Kipia go that way Mas wakansa kugawana Wawili pande hiyo Wawili pande hii Kwa mfuate Ye agayo wakasubiri na bado wengine hapa hii jamadi inajaribu kusuhia biyasara zangu wapa kwa hii area Nilikuwa nimepanga kununua kerori nikimarisha biyasara Ananisuhia Sawa, leo ni mwisho Mwisho hii Dalva alijua na fuwato nyuma Sasa haka enlekea kwa mamijengo mijengo zile zime arbika Zikina zime ripuli wagwa kwa sababu ya mavita Akijua garuti hii sasa ndiyo the showdown Najua nga hili letua the showdown Hapa sasa Wash Majamao wakashuka kwenye piki piki Wakamua sasa wakuje kuwindana na Dolph Landgren Right Safi sana Diawa Hakina chumri kipchumba Hakina kipitanui Diawa sasa Ay 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 Kuna nini? Wao ga ile ujawa yona. Kaya mo ikaya. 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 Ikiwa uyo amefinyo na tuja wana jebe ngine. Saba tawa. Mutu ya biblia di huyu. The Bible man. No, na imbaga wimbo furani kwa roo yake. Hii, wabi hii mutu hii. Kuija gidule, wabi. Kuija hapa, shingo. Akena ni jamali nyongwa. Ya, 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 ya. Pero, alafu ile kamba, akuje kupima kama uzani. Dio yo, kilo amsini na mbili. Kilo za upusi sana, siyuwa na kulaga ama ovacado tu 
Alright. Kinigo. Hakirani Kinigo. Oh shit. Mish. Ma Kinigo. Wa wa wa. Ali Kondaria movie. The Phantom Riders. Wa wa wa. Chuki. Pasa. Chukua. Kunikua. Tia yo. Ala. Baki apo. Kukine. Ati ni ujusi. Ati ni ujusi. Aya, ujuzi hiyo yako utaiwacha hapa haki ya nani na nyororo. Cheki. Nyororo! Ni kwa moja! Kwa! He 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 he! Na unakua usuri ya nyororo huwezi ukaikinga, ukikinga ndi umeumia. Unaikubali tu ikucharase. Ashi. He, mothe, umesikia rufu ya makinigo? Umesikia haki ya nani ndevu zinachomeka wakajua hizo ni za makinigo? Nani uyu? Jamaa napiga muenzake Kumbe ni yule jamaa mbae alisaidiaga manzi yule Kate Karibu Dalfland Green kumpiga Alafu Kate akatetea kasema alisaidiwa Uyu ni yule gaidi anasaidia ka watu Ni gaidi musaidiaji Sente zana haka msaidia Dalf Sawa sawa Dalva kachukua kia nani Gotora Hii na itu waka Gotora Hii waka kamu Mwenzake agayo Haka ongesa gia Tuende wera, tuende wera Mwishi, anabunja watu na kuchukua pikipiki na kusema Ingia, ingia We moja wakondo He, mothe Na kapita vizuri sana hapo Haya Yo, kelo zi afuwa kanya ngao Tiyo mnene, oguwa waiga Kino zi akafuata Ash Atere masalia, he Fuata Tini ya mdosi Ya kwela fuata Saza ni uguo, ni uguo mnende Fuata Pas Wasira Muka fuata Gia ingia We moja wa kondo Kai Fuata Uingie Ukuo wa moja wa kondo Rario Ukuwa Ala Chini Pash Uyu wamekua moja wa kondoshe Gide Pata Kasi sindili wa ndani Jamaa halitapika changali kunyo juusi Ash Gathogo Gathogo wanakuja tu Position unandali wa the showdown Pincha the missionary man Dalva kachukua tena piki piki Jawa za mime mwona Sheriff halifikaga ata ye Mizuri zaidi Manake halikubaliana na Dalva landa grini Lazima watapambana Haya Raino ele Shificha hapa gunia hii I said don't move I said don't move Sheriff haka mpia piaka hapa virivyo Na haka mzuraisha down Raino Ikakua sasa hata ndio vizuri Raino watakuenda kujibu mastaka Haka chukuliwa akiwa hai Ash Dalva natafutana na kina agayo Dalf Wanye saa wanjia Eh karibu kufia ka mze ingine huko Come on Come on Agayo Waiko wapi Ya 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 Kaukesa ikine ya kuesa kuhonyesa watu njia Oh Mwamu dee ayushua ii jamaa ako ama mwume uwa Fuck that Well the 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 guy is still there The guy is still there Ayushua Yes Ash Jia iyo ni jia iyo Mijemba mba jia iyo 
Sawa sawa. Njia hiyo ni nyembamba. Ah! Jamaa! Ball flat kile nalitokea hake nani? Kagua mambo. Aze! Wa! Serious. Eh. Uh, Mr. Agayo. Na una kohoa. Jia hiyo ni nyeba? Jia hiyo ni nyeba? Na magaidi kama wewe hakuna haja atikupiga risasi tukisimama tunakaa tukipima. Pima! Kisha cheki. Hake nani kupima? Imagine ni jagiri unapimiwa Kama all your marks Get ready Paaa Jagiri ya kawa kusha bay Serious Ola Uyo wagayo wakawa kusha manino Yule raino nae kwa sababu watikuamba hame kusha kamatu wakiwa hai ndivo hivo Alishiku na yule Sheriff Na madawa za kulevi zikapatikana kwenye pando wa bagi Zuri chukuri yuli kuamba kuenda kushtakiwa nae huyo raino kwa ajili ya kuleta insecurity ukosaji wa amani kwenye kijiji hicho na pia ulanguzi mkuu wa madawa za kulevia yeye hiyo atakwenda kuijibu mastaka kule kortini ala upande mwingine nao dal flanda green akao mikusha mwangamiza cousin wake raino na kuhakikisha tukwamba yenyewe usalama tena utakuja kurejea na kuhakikisha hakuna hali ya utaharuki hali ya umagaidi itakuwa kwa kike mikusha pungua kwa asilimia tisaini wa Hiti ndi wakati anafika hapa msiana wetu Hiti kwa mbali ya mua apate kukutana na Dolph Land Green kabla ajaishia Lakini kumbi kwa mbali Dolph Land Green Halikuwa shele hiti kwa mba kazi ya meikamilisha Asha wangamiza magaidi ambao wamekuwaga wakileta utata Wamekuba na wakileta ani insecurity kwenye panda wakijiji hicho Haliondoka Hiti kukimbia kumtafuta Halikuta kwa mbali huyo Asha kwenda Na angeweza kumfikia Enyewe kwa sababu sababu alikuwa mempenda ilikuwa inatakana sana pate kuonana nae angalau hata kumrudishia shukurani na kumfamisha nyewe wewe umetusaidia na Mungu akubariki waona nini basi ye dalfa kashika mwindo na aka kukamilishia sinema retu the missionary man wako studio fishman aka kika sina la ziada akama ni kuchumoga zipata rembo tv Masorat, hey! IP, hey! Kung Fu, watch it kill a sikuza wiki. Alright, Asanta Sana, Cheki Marino. DJ Fish, I'm the one dalia. Movie Fire Fire, Rainbow TV, Joy na chilia. Miki kia movie, sana sana za kichina. Tai Chi, sana sana za kijeshi. Taekwondo, Masorat, IP. Kung Fu, Tazi Pata Rainbow TV Masorat, IP Kung Fu, Wachi Kila Siku Za Wiki 